Newborn to Baby, A Guide to Be a Pro Parent. We are all aware of the pregnancy struggle a new mom must endure. Once the baby is delivered and all set to be taken home. Here comes the other most crucial task. Newborn babies are adorable with cute tiny hands and feet. However, new parents must follow a guideline to ensure that parenting goes smoothly when they bring the baby home. Are you overwhelmed about how everything will go? Well, we have made a comprehensive guide on parenting tips so you can enjoy parenthood rather than being anxious about the tasks. What does your baby need in the first few weeks? A common question about a baby's needs often arises at this stage. The reply is, not much. Of course, if you ask a baby store or peruse a list of registry suggestions, it will sound like your baby needs everything. Some parents desire all the hip baby accessories and technology that can make life with a newborn easier. It's acceptable to stick to the fundamentals for minimalists, parents on a tight budget, or newlyweds feeling a little overwhelmed. Your baby won't notice the difference, we guarantee. Having the fundamental supplies on hand will enable you to get through the initial days and weeks without making hurried trips to the store or online purchases. It will also ensure that your baby is cozy, well-fed, and getting all they require. Even the most anxious mother can soon feel comfortable caring for a baby once they are well guided with the correct parenting tips. Well, we are here with a comprehensive guide for all new mothers. Get help from the experienced parents around you. As it is an overwhelming yet stressful period, at this point, you can think about asking for assistance by experience. Communicate with the professionals or healthcare providers that are dealing with you in the hospital. Many hospitals hire experienced consultants for lactation or feeding specialists to assist patients in starting to breast or bottle feed. The nurses at the hospital can also help understand to carry a baby, change their clothes, burp, and how do exceptional care for their baby. They are excellent means to get guidance for proper baby handling. You can also engage a postpartum doula or a well-reputed and respectable neighborhood to help you for a little while after the birth if you require assistance in your comfort zone. Your healthcare providers or the hospital are also able to guide you to health agencies offering services at home and assist you in looking for information about care and guidance at home. Family and friends frequently wish to assist as well. Some basic instructions when handling a newborn. The delicacy of babies can be terrifying in case you haven't got to spend a lot of time near them. Observe the following fundamentals. Before touching your child, wash or sterilize your hands with sanitizer. Your baby lacks a strong immune system which makes it vulnerable to germ and bacteria attacks. However, you need to make sure that every person who touches and carries your baby has sanitized hands. Provide the infant with support at the head and neck. When you are holding your baby, support the baby's head while supporting it. When you are laying your baby down, carefully cradle the neck as well as the head. Do not shake your baby under any condition, whether you are angry or playing with them. Baby's brain nerves can be hemorrhaged and possibly results in sudden death. Apparently, no reason is visible, but shaking can be a potential cause. If you need to wake your baby, tickle them instead of shaking them. Car seats, strollers, and carriers should be buckled up to keep your child safe. Activity that is rough or includes violent bouncing should not be practiced. Playing rough with your child, such as jiggling your knees or throwing him around, is inappropriate and might damage the baby's brain. Understand your newborn's gestures and bond with them. Most newborns are prepared to bond right away. Within the first few hours or days after their infant is born, some parents experience intense attachment. Others might require a little more time. Bonding is a process, it doesn't happen instantly and is not constrained to taking place inside a specific window of time after delivery. Bonding occurs naturally because of daily caregiving for many parents. You might not even be aware that it's happening until you see your baby's grin for the first time and realize how happy and in love you are with your child. How can I promote my baby's development and mental stability? Young newborns understand the reassurance and comfort of your voice, tone, and emotions, and they require the safety of a parent's arms. 
You can start by cuddling your infant and giving them a light stroke for optimal mental health. Your baby will quickly recognize your touches if you and your partner constantly hold and touch your infant. Bonding can take longer for a variety of reasons. When hormones are out of control or women suffer from post-pregnancy depression, it can be difficult for them to bond with their newborns. If a mother is worn out and in pain after the pregnancy, the bonding time might be prolonged. Moreover, after a protracted, challenging delivery, the mother might not be instated to bond with the newborn. You can spend quality time observing, cuddling, and conversing with your newborn. Soon your newborn will be familiar with your voice and touch. How to diaper the newborn baby As a new parent, you'll quickly, and frequently, find yourself faced with the duty of changing in addition to feeding them. Although it might seem a little intimidating at first, changing will come naturally with practice and newborn development. Baby wipes are frequently used to wipe the genital area. The skin of a baby, however, is extremely delicate. When your child's age is from 1 to 2, using lukewarm water and a washcloth or cotton balls can help avoid skin irritation and diaper rash. Step-by-step -step changing instructions. The changing of disposable diapers is described in these directions. Be prepared. Wash your hands first. Next, gather your materials, such as Remove the soiled diaper Lay your baby on the changing table with its back facing up The diaper hooks or clips on each side should be released Make your baby's skin clean Gently clean your baby Cleanse the bottom of the child thoroughly but gently with the help of wet wipes or cotton balls Always thoroughly wipe the vulva in both directions to avoid spreading infection Don the fresh diaper. Place a new diaper under the baby's bottom and make sure that you are placing right side. Nowadays, almost all diapers has bright mark to indicate which side is the front. Finish up. While you clean up, put your baby in a secure spot. Wrap the tabs completely around the soiled diaper before firmly rolling it up. How frequently should I replace it? Changing your baby's diaper is not as difficult as it is always portrayed. For small babies, this typically implies 8 to 10 diapers every day. However, the duration will vary considerably. Babies frequently require diaper replacement immediately after feeding, but you will typically notice the smell, or you may just peek. Although these pointers may be useful as you navigate the process, you can quickly change your newborn's dirty diaper without giving it a second thought. If you need to see a pediatrician, while you'll witness a variety of hues, textures, and colors in the baby's diaper in the beginning, from gooey, black-green meconium to lighter yellow milk stools, you might also come across something you were never anticipating. Guideline for bathing your newborn. You must be thinking about how often you should bath the newborn. Two to three times per week is acceptable for ages one to two. Newborns are generally given two types of baths, a sponge bath and a regular one. Here we have covered the tips and procedures for you. Choose a comfortable, smooth surface in a well-covered room for your sponge baths. Warm water should be added to a bowl or nearby sink. Begin with one side eye and clean it from the inner corner and move outwards of your baby's eyes using a washcloth that has simply been wet with water. Utilize a new and soft cloth's corner or cotton ball to wipe the other eye. Use the wet washcloth to clean your child's ears and nose. Then moisten the cloth again, thoroughly clean the baby's face with mild soap and pat to dry it out. Make a solution utilizing baby shampoo. Then gently wash the face or her head of your child, and then properly rinse. Make sure no soapy solution is left on the skin. Gently wash the rest of the baby's body of the newborn with a moist cloth and soap, giving close attention to the creases in the genital region, behind the ears, under the arms, and around the neck. After washing the genital area, ensure they are dry before dressing the children. Care for the umbilical cord and circumcision. To prevent the wound from sticking, the tip of the penis is typically wrapped with petroleum jelly-coated gauze right after circumcision. 
After changing, gently rinse the tip with warm water before coating it with petroleum jelly to prevent sticking. Inflammation or redness of the genitals should fade away in the initial days. However, in case it persists or worsens, the infection may occur or might get worse. In this case, you must consult your healthcare provider right once. Burping and feeding your newborn. If your children are crying, putting their fingers in their mouths, or making sucking sounds, it is to signal that they need your help. You have to retrieve information through their actions and gestures. You should feed your baby for about 10 minutes from each breast in case you are breastfeeding. The baby is likely to be fed about 2-3 to three ounces on average for the first 3 months at every feeding. If you are formula feeding, choose it according to the infant's age. To ensure they feed enough, many babies may be awakened every few hours. When being patted, the baby is likely to turn the head or her mouth to root and follow that direction. If you don't know how to make the newborn burp, then we got you covered. Hold your baby up straight, so that baby's head is on your shoulder. Softly pat your baby's back with your other hand while placing a hand on the neck. With one hand, support the baby's neck in your palm. Place their chest on your hand and cradle them gently. The basic formula of getting newborn to sleep. Newborns often take small naps of two to four hours each. Expect your child to make them wake up if they have not taken a meal in the initial four hours due to the digestive system of the baby being extremely small to let the baby sleep the entire night. The possibility of sudden infant death syndrome SIDS, increases if the newborn is sleeping on the stomach. Even though most babies have a full baby sleep by the time they are three months old, it is okay if yours doesn't. Babies, like adults, must establish their own sleep cycles and routines. During the first few months, keep lights low at night. The baby's brain gets more respondent to the bright light, which results in babies not sleeping. The ultimate shopping list for the newborn. Now that you know everything about newborn baby handling and initial care, the next step is the purchase. We understand that everything might seem cute and that you might want to place everything in the cart. We have made a list of all the necessities that you must have. Dress and layette. It's recommended to avoid purchasing an excessive amount of newborn apparel because your baby grows very quickly. You will also be changing clothes frequently because newborn's clothes can quickly get filthy. The skin care items. Baby skin can be really sensitive, so you should have soap and lotion that is gentle on it. Go for healthy products that are specially designed for newborn babies. Baby's Nail Clippers Add baby nail clippers to the list, as the normal clipper might be too big for the little baby's hand. Feeding Equipment If you intend to breastfeed your child, it is advisable to talk to your doctor or lactation consultant about the brands and types of formula you should have on hand before your due date and baby's delivery. You will require a lot of burp cloths regardless of how you feed your baby. A Diaper Bins It is important to purchase a separate bin as it will allow you to keep your room and house cleaner. Final Takes Away You and your baby will discover more about one another daily. You will learn more about your baby's requirements as they change and grow. You constantly learn as a parent. It's acceptable to have self-assurance in your knowledge. It's also okay to admit that you don't know something and to seek clarification, assistance, and more parenting tips. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this one.